Okay, let's compare our application interface with what we see in the main section comment interface editor. All right. This part obviously came from this navigation panel dot normal list. Uh, we can see the same comments in the same order. And this tools drop down menu came from this action panel dot tools list. And these visibility checkboxes define if a developer wants a correspondent comment to be shown in the interface. As we already know, all these comments open correspondent lists of data objects. And these are two common forms we created earlier. So all these comments here came from these settings. But where did these comments in the editor come from? Let's add a new catalog and see what happens. Now, there are two new comments appeared in the list. Open the list of catalog one items and create a new catalog one item. So every time we add a new metadata object in the configuration, the platform automatically creates correspondent comments and places them into the comment interface. Okay, what about these action panel dot create comments? Judging by the name, they have to create new objects of the correspondent types. Let's check it out. I'm making visible these two comments and running the app. Now a new drop down menu appeared in the navigation panel, and these are our new comments. Let's select this one and a new item form is open. I'm filling it with some data, pressing save and close. And here is our new item in the catalog one. Okay, let's get back to the designer. What else can we do with these comments? These arrows up there look like we can change uh, the comments order. For instance, move uh, the warehouse comment to the top of the list. And this order has changed in the app. Next, if you contract all expanded nodes of the tree, you will see that there are three navigation panel sections and three action panel sections. And developer can move the comments from one to another with some limitations. If we try to drag this catalog one comment, we will see that we cannot drop it anywhere in the action panel, but we can drop it here in the navigation panel important section. And let's also move this services comment into this see also section and see what we get. Okay, the catalog one comment we moved into important section became bold, but the services comment we moved into see also section hasn't changed. But if we reduce the window size, as you can see now some comments don't fit into the windows width and a new drop down menu called more appeared. And if we open this menu, we will see our services comment down there under the line. So important comments go here, normal comments stay here and see also comments go under this line. Okay. Is there any way a user can change the placement and the visibility of the comments? Well, actually, yes. In the left side of the main window, you can see so-called tools pane that shows some system comments, namely show a function menu, show favorites list, show a history of user actions and run a full text search. OK, let's open the function menu. First of all, this function menu shows all comments in the full screen mode. So if there are too many comments, a user can see the full list. And besides that, uh, there are two system comments, navigation settings and action settings. Navigation settings form contains uh, the same three sections we've already seen in the designer. A user can hide any comments if he doesn't need them. For instance, if I remove this employees comment, 
it will disappear from the interface. I also can move comments between different sections like this. And warehouses comment became important and services comment will go onto the line if I reduce the size of the window. Exactly the same applies to this action settings system comment. You can hide, unhide or move any action comments anywhere. So, basically a developer describes a default interface, but a user is free to change it in almost any way to make it more convenient to him. A user can always get back to the original interface by selecting this set default settings menu item.